Okay, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to explain what an M97 code is. It's known as a local subroutine call. This is more of an advanced code to use. I wouldn't say it's for beginners. Um, I didn't get into this stuff until a couple of years into programming because uh, I didn't know much about this stuff. So I'm going to try and do this kind of quick without making it super complicated. So how do you use an M97 call? There's a lot of ways to do it. In this demonstration only, I'm just going to pretend that you are doing three uh, parts on a lathe. So it's, let's just pretend this is the stock, this is the chuck of the lathe, and you're going to do three different parts. The only reason I'm doing it with this way, I don't want to write a thousand lines of code. What I'm going to do is write the program, which is, well, I assume you wrote your program, and it's going to do the complete part, cut it off, that's done. And instead of rewriting your program below that, all you got to do is just give it three offsets, and it will continue to produce your part. You just have to give it another offset. This is G54, which is the front of this. G55. So you cut off your part, you're going to add, say, 15 thousandths on, onto that to give you G55 and 56 to whatever you're doing. So how did I use an N97 code in this? Okay. Hopefully this won't hurt too much. Let's just pretend you got your, your machine defaults up here, uh, and I explained that in previous videos. And we're... We're going to call up the M97 code. So I have to tell it I want it to jump down to this program. I forgot to write that in. Okay. You have to give your M97 a P value, and that tells it what line you want that to jump to. So I, my program starts at line number 11 because every line of code you have, you, there's numbers and I just did one through whatever it goes to. This could be in hundreds but I forgot how to do it off the top of my head. I just line it, you know, you know one, two, three, four and so on. So I wanted to jump down to the main program. My machine default is going to be in G54. So I'm going to tell it to jump to line 11, which is an M97 P11. It's going to jump down to that program and then do everything you wrote and all your facing, turning, drilling, whatever you're doing. And then it cuts off. That is now done. At the end of your program, make sure you have your M99 at the end of the program. And that tells it to loop back up to here. Because you're going to need that. If you put an M3 at the end of the program, it's just, it won't, it won't continue. So you have to have your M99 have it re come back up to here. It's going to come back to here. Now, it's going to move to your next line of code. And we have an M99. Well, we all know that means a, it's a looping cycle. But M99 can be treated in a couple of different ways where if, if you don't give it a value right here, it's just going to rewind back up to the top and just repeat this whole thing. We don't want to do that. 
So, I wanted to jump down to my next part. So, we're on line number four. So, you're going to put a P4. So, that means you did your first part. It jumped down to here. Did all your machining cycles for this part right here. And that's now done. We take the N99 and program is going to loop back up. And then it's going to tell it to continue down to here. And my M99 call is telling me to continue at line four. Because that how M99 can work that way too. It just tells it I want it to jump down to this line now. So now we activate G55, which is part number two. So in offsets, you come up with whatever value you, you need and enter that in offsets. And then from there on out, it's going to continue on. It's going to be, so that line's done now. It's going to continue on here. Just make sure in all your programs, you don't have, or I should say, in any of the program below, you don't have any offsets like 54, 55, 56 on any of the lines. Just leave it open. I don't know how else to describe it. So now we're in G55 mode. Now it's going to jump down to my next M97 subroutine call. And we already know I want to jump back down to line 11. So P11. And that's going to be my second part. So this is part number two. And it's going to come down to here. Do the whole program again. And then it's going to read the M99. It's going to loop back up. And it's going to come back to here. And now it's going to want to continue on. So there's my next M99. I have to give it a value to move to the next line. So my next line is line number 7 because that's my next part. So we're going to give it a P7. So it's M99P7, which tells it to jump down to my next line. Because if you don't give it a P value, it's just going to rewind. We don't want to do that. So now we're at G56. Part number two is all done. So now we're going to start part number three. So G56 and offsets, you enter whatever word you want to start. And now we're on our third part. So... We already know we're going to start at P11, so N97, P11. It's going to jump down, do the main program, blah, blah, blah. It's going to read the M99. It's going to come back up to this line here. And then we completed our third part. We're all done. And from here on out, now we got to tell, okay, I want it to jump down to here, so uh, let me rephrase that. So now we have to continue on where it's going to jump down to M99. So I want to come down to line 10. So that's a P10. And that's talent to go down to here, which reads the M30, which stops the program and rewinds it back to the top. Now you could put a tool move in here before your line 30, or I'm sorry, before the M30. You can put a, uh, hold on a sec. Now, if you wanted, if you had a specific tooling you wanted out of the way, let's just say it was tool one where it ended up. You're still in G56. Say you wanted to come down to line 10, and if you were on tool 1, offset 1, you can have it rapid, whatever, X, I'll just say 10 point, and then from there on out, whatever, just to get it away. And then you could have put your, your M30 right after that. And that's, now I'm trying not to make that confusing, but I think you get the point. It's just, you just... So in theory, what you just did is you made three three pieces 
We'll just put the M30 back here. And without writing a whole bunch of code after code, it's just taking the program, you're just, you're, you're just repeating sections over and over. And that's what M97 does. And there's other ways to use M97. That's just for this example. I'm going to probably do a couple other videos with other examples that I used to use. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. I know it's kind of quick and it's not, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's sloppy, but it's just a kind of a general idea of what you could use it for. And uh, that's it. So this would be your first part. This would be your second part. And this is your third part. And yeah, and just saving you time. Because if you, if you were like me, I had to manually write all this stuff. Uh, we didn't have the software, so I had to manually write it. So I had to figure out ways to do it quick. And that's that. All right. I appreciate you sticking around and listening to me uh, ramble on. Uh, hopefully this helps. And uh, I'll have another video coming out with more examples. Okay. Take care. We'll see you again.